Hey guys, Dar from Playcast is here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the right .gui version 2.5. Um, this is the GUI that I use personally. Um, I get loads of questions asking, what GUI are you using? What hell is it? So basically, this is the one I'm using, um, and I'll show you how to install it and the settings that I personally use. Obviously, it's best to make sure you use ones that you know, so click download button on the Game Banana page that I've linked down below, and we'll get started on it. So you click on download, and then you just want to click on the direct link or the mirror on the page that follows it. Okay, so once you've got that downloaded, it might take a while. So let's jump in with the installer. Okay, so here we go. Um, as you can see, nice simple installer. Click next, it tells you they need to install the Counter-Strike Global Offensive folder, not the CSGO folder. So what we're gonna do on the next tab is we're gonna navigate to that folder. So make sure you're on the Counter-Strike Global Offensive folder it's probably common, Steam apps, something like that. And here we go. So, scoreboard and background, you just want as default. Um, everything I have pretty much as default. Obviously, make sure you check the videos if you want the same thing as what I've got. Um, an interesting one is the ELO medals. If you click the right version, it gives you like mid plus for Master Guardian and things like that. Um, if you're on a low rank, it'll be like low plus. But it's an interesting way to look at the ranks. Um, the background I have, sorry, the loading background I have set as bright simply because it's cleaner and I don't need to know how the maps look or the default maps layout because, you know, I've been playing this game for ages. I know how they look by now. The cursor I just keep as default. There's a lot of things I keep as default. An interesting one here is the radar simply because you can have it with a blue overlay, but I find that really distracting and I just prefer to have it plain. I don't want it distracting me. Like, I know where to look for the radar. I don't need it being there in my eyes all the time. Um, another one is, what is it? It is the money. I prefer to have it in the CSS position simply because that's where I'm, I know where to look for that. It's where I've gotten used to it. I don't like it being underneath the radar. So once you're done with that, it'll install. You can click next. And then if you want, you can click launch CSGO and then click finish. This will then load up your game for you automatically. That way you know it's installed. So let's have a look. So this is the default background with a tiny bit of the right.gui. So as we can see, uh, we get this bug report and updates. And as you can also see, it says that I'm mid plus and it still keeps the name of the rank next to it. And all the menus are still pretty much the same. If you chose the right GUI, they would look completely different. It'd be all snazzy and flashy, but I'm not a fan of that. So let's make a server offline with bots snazzy and flashy but I'm not a fan of that so let's make a server offline with bots and let's see how it looks so yeah this is the loading menu la -de -da -de -da. it's really clean and you don't have need to have all the tips about how the FBI was set up and how many times an organization have discharged the bullets um, so yeah let's just quickly fast forward into the game and here we go. Okay, so you get to choose your team with a snazzy new menu. Um, all the sort of menus the same. But as you can see, the colours of the like layout are blue, which means it's so much nicer to see and it's vivid and it's not sort of blending in with the background like with some other GUIs that I've used. Um, so yeah, best thing to do is test it out yourselves, try out the settings yourself, and I'll see you again soon for another Playcasters video. Goodbye.